What's going on guys? I know it's been a while, but I've been in the process of moving to a new place. Plus with this whole quarantine thing, things have been a little bit iffy here and there. But anyways, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you like today's video. It's gonna be a catch and cook, something I usually don't do on this video or on this channel. So hopefully you guys like it. I went out yesterday with my parents, did some fishing. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. And hopefully you guys enjoy this little catch and cook. Boys. There you go. Take your time, take your time. Nice. Food. Okay. Where's he at? Oh, there he, looks like a mutton. I know, grouper, what is that? No, no, Jaga no. Oh, red grouper, nice. Olha que lindo, ia lá. Que lindo. 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 Que So the grouper is in season, but he's too short. He's got to be 20 inches. And you got to be careful with his gill plate because it will tear you up. Fuck. Fish on, boys. Oh, there he goes. Oh, is that a cuda? Oh, it's a shark. Oh, dang. He snapped me. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a baby strawberry. That one grouper, but this one's called a strawberry. Mm -mm. It's too small. Hey, strawberry. The groupers today. This one's beautiful. Huh? That's in strawberry. Show me strawberry grouper. All right, little guy, get big. No, I think it's another grouper. There he is right there. Another red grouper maybe? What the hell is that? What the hell? What in the hell? I have no idea. I have no idea what this is. This is this just a giant lizard fish? This is creepy looking. I don't even want to touch this thing. Fish a cobra. Looks like a giant lizard fish. That is. Look at the teeth on that thing. Fish like a fish. An ugly ass fish. Oh, yellow tail. Let's go, baby. Oh, the yellow tail? Yeah. I don't know. Bring it up. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> and he'll eat. Another 12 incher. Another 12 incher. Heck yeah. Looks like it. All right, so for the seasoning, we're just gonna keep it simple with some Everglades seasoning. Uh, the fish and chicken one, I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top of there. A little bit of flavor flav. Make sure you get it on both sides. And make sure you get that good stuff. All over the fishies. 
I'm gonna take one of these uh, baking pans or whatever the heck they're called and we're gonna put some aluminum on it. We're going with the word aluminum. So I'm trying to be chic here. There's some five star recipe stuff right here. A little avocado oil because we're trying to be rich here. Just all up in there. I'm gonna go too much, although that was probably too much. Spread that stuff around a little bit. Nice, spread even. Already lost the track of which one is the uh, schoolmaster. So hopefully I could notice the difference when we're eating it. There we go. Create like a little basket of happiness around it. Keep the juices in there. Boom, ready to go. We got the oven at 360 and we're gonna keep it in there until it's nice and wide on all sides and ready to go. All right, so we here we go. We, we got the uh, Yellowtail and the uh, Schoolmaster. I'm not sure which is which, but hopefully one of these are the uh, Schoolmaster and the other one's the Yellowtail. Basic recipe, just a little bit of avocado oil and the, uh, the Everglade seasoning. Could never go wrong with the snappers. Never go wrong with the snappers. I think that's the yellowtail. The seasoning, on point, as always. I also got a little bit of uh, lime juice here. Literally put lime juice on all of my fishes for some reason. Some say that it ruins the fish. I say it helps it. I think the second one is probably the uh, schoolmaster because it's definitely got a different, uh, not flavor, but consistency to it. Great fish, great fish. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to this point in the video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And uh, with this quarantine still going the way it is, Florida is starting to open up a little bit. Hopefully I could uh, put some more videos out there and uh, I'm completely done moving too, so hopefully I get back on the uh, consistent basis of making some more fishing videos. Thank you guys so much for watching.